Okay, so Mike has a lot of these um, homebrew games. Homebrews, axe, mods, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call them. Look at this. This is how many. Yeah. So I've never seen all these, and I, I don't know what they are, but like, okay, you got Dr. Wario World, House Calls. Yellow cartridge, too. I've never seen a yellow cartridge. Th that one I just picked up recently. Mm -hmm. I was at, uh, well, you were there. Uh, Gifts for Gamers. Okay. When we were there, I picked Shout that up. Shout out the event, yeah. Um, I don't know what that one is exactly, but um, it's. I, I think it's essentially Super Mario World. Mm -hmm. With it. I, I haven't played it, so I don't yeah, know Yeah, that's yet. the thing. We're like, we don't know what any of these are yet. Brutal Super Mario World. I'm going to assume that's like a very difficult... You know what? There was a ROM of some game. Uh, I remember I played it back in like... The 2000s sometime. I'm going to say this was like 2005, something like that. Yeah. And it was like this extremely difficult version of uh, Super Mario World. Um, was it Kaizo Mario World? I, I don't know. See, there's so many of those now. There's that a, I, there's I have a lot. No, yeah, yeah. But it was hilariously difficult. But now there's so many of them. And it's amazing that so many of these exist on cartridges because, like, you know, you have to, to make one of these. You got to buy a cartridge. You got to, you know... Usually, I guess they'd like just replace an existing yeah. game. Uh, well, there's also companies that make like just the shells, uh -huh. I believe. But yeah, a lot of times they do like destroy old cartridges. Mm -hmm. But I think most of the time when they do that, they'll take like really common games. Yeah, like, they're not destroying like, like something what, like, rare. Yeah, like when in the videos, like when we made the fake Nintendo World Championship stuff like that, it was like Top Gun, you which know? you have like eight million of them. Ex <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Literally, a very Super Mario World. Yes, huh. which I don't know anything about that one. Uh, Super Bomberman Three. Okay, I'm uh, a huge like Bomberman fan, okay. and the best Bomberman you're ever gonna play, if you ever want to play a Bomberman game, is Saturn, Saturn Bomberman. It's twenty player or whatever. <laughs> Well, that's what that's one thing that's good about it. But if you just go through the single player, it's just it's an awesome game. We should play that. Yeah, do you have? One it? Of these, I do. I have it uh, right over there. It's sitting right over there. Okay. Um, yeah, Saturn Bomberman is fucking awesome. And I actually did a live stream on it once. I made it to the end of the game, but I did I couldn't beat the last guy. But um, such a good fucking game. Add it to the list. Yeah, definitely gonna have that. But that one, uh, what's it? What was that one? Uh, Super Bomberman Three. So. The Bomberman games, a lot of them came out on Super Famicom, mm -hmm. and I think we got a couple. I, there might have been like two or three on Super Nintendo, but I think there was more of them on Famicom than there was on Super Nintendo, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. And I think what this might be is one of the Famicom games put on a Super Nintendo cartridge, like U.S. North American. Yeah, Super. I think it's that. I think that's that, what this is. That's what a lot of these are. Yeah. Um, that, that, I mean, a lot of these tend to be like whenever we've played a, um, a game that somebody gave us. Uh, a lot of times, it would be like this is a game you couldn't normally play on NES. But anyway, this is the Fireman. The f oh yes, I, I think I've told you about that. We should play I, that. I, I, yeah, I actually played this one. Believe oh, you did. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember the story of it, but it's a game. It's one of those games, mm -hmm. like like the new Ghostbusters game that yeah. came out in Europe, mm -hmm. and we didn't get it here. And it's really okay. good. So it was a European game um, that we didn't get here. Didn't come out in North America. Uh, I played it at a convention. Somebody showed it to me, and uh, it's really cool. Yeah, Ninja Guide and Evil Edition. I'm assuming that that has to be like a really hard version of Ninja Gaiden. That's and, what I would have thought. And isn't yeah. that a funny thought? Like a really hard oh, version of Ninja yeah. Gaiden as if that's not like the hardest fucking game the, already. The masochist version, basically. Yeah. Like so may, the, maybe I'll stream that. I think. I mean, we don't know what it is. But um, see, the thing is there's so many of these that the time it would take us to like research every one of these and like look up gameplay, it's like, it's just, it's just overwhelming. I've been collecting at, these for like... Mm -hmm. since the nerd series started um mm -hmm. and yeah I've, I've amassed a lot of them i also by the way have a lot of atari 2600 like hacks and homebrews and stuff over there but let's just go through these nes ones yeah. for now mega man in the mushroom kingdom that's like a super mario brothers with mega man you know what that reminds me of remember mega man ultra i think i think we did that we, on monday once. yeah we did and there's a stage on there it's i think it's the woodman stage where they made it all Mario Brothers. That's that's and, like uh, what this whole game is. That's I think. What, that's what I'm guessing. Heart Fighter. Now this is this looks interesting. I I have played that before. I know what that is. What is Kart it? Fighter is essentially a shit version of Street Fighter 2. M imagine Street Fighter 2 if it was on the NES mm -hmm. with bad controls, mm -hmm. but instead of Street Fighter characters, it was the Mario Kart characters. 
the Mario Kart character couldn't well couldn't have just been called Mario Fighter then. But it's like the backgrounds and stuff. It's like themed to Mario Kart. Okay. My Little Pony. Um, my Little Pony. My Little. Your daughter pony. likes My Little Pony, right? Uh, yeah, we watched a lot of the new series. Of, I haven't seen much of the old one, but yeah, the new series is pretty good. Believe it or not, that is Mega Man Two. Um, really? It's a Mega Man Two with My Little Pony characters. How does that it, work? It's a hack. 150 and one, so it's one of these multi-cart It's a, it's a multi-cart. It's probably, I see like Hogan's Alley, I think, or like, there's a, basically it's one of these games with like a, a bunch of games on it. So it's I'm, a multi-cart. I'm gonna assume that there's nothing new on here that we don't know. It's probably but, all just NES yeah, games. You yeah, you never know. It's like you, they just rebrand them with different titles. Crossfire. Now, at first, I thought this was the board game. Crossfire. Crossfire. Yeah. I got you, my little laser. Yeah, your introduction. Oh, it's funny. I played this. I played the board game with my daughter uh, recently. Crossfire. <laughs> she loves it. Um, but that has nothing to do with the board game. That's no. just like some other game. It looks. Yeah, it's disappointing. It's I wish it had. <laughs> Maybe no. Here's the thing. How would you make a game of the board game anyway? I I feel like it still could be. It's just you make it with real people. Cause like the game, it's like. You know, the Crossfire board like game. Like, it has to turn it into to, something. Yeah, you have to imagine. It has to turn into something. <laughs> it has to turn into something that's not nothing. <laughs> Just, like, balls shooting yeah. around. Fake It'd be like a pinball nothing. game, maybe. A pinball game. All right, so somebody put beat em and eat em on NES. That's interesting, though, because I wonder what it looks like. Like, yeah. does it look like the Atari game? Maybe yeah. we should pop that in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Want to play a little beat em and eat em, James? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> <laughs> the Guardian Legend Secret Edition. Okay. Some kind of other version of Guardian Legend, which is a fantastic game. Which mm-hmm. I do that for James and Mike Monday. Other than it's like a long fucking yeah, game. Yeah, figure it's, it's, it's tough, mm-hmm. but um, a great game. Great it's game. A weird cover though. You see the it's art. a very weird cover. It's like a clown shark getting shot at with a plane. I'm so nostalgic for that game. I love that game. Oh, cool. But that's that one's different. Mm. The new Strange Mario Brothers. We played that one did time. We? It's just another one of those weird. You don't. Need, it's funny. We did a video. Of James doesn't I, remember. I well, there's so many fucking Mario. We've lives. only made like 250 of these fucking things yeah. by now. The Adventure of Link Part Three. No, the Adventure of Link Part Three Zelda Two. <laughs> the Adventure of Link Part Three Zelda Two. Yeah. We wow, gotta do that. That's just but, that's Zelda 2, the Adventure of Link Part that'll 3. That'll be worth it just to put the title in the video. <laughs> that that is hilarious. Robocop versus Terminator. Alright. The um, Super Mario Brothers Unlimited one is actually some some of the Mario hacks are like better than others, and I think I remember that one actually being pretty good. Okay. So Robocop versus Terminator. Um I assume it's gonna be like the Super Nintendo one, maybe just haven't played worse, it. Yeah, yeah, with just worse graphics. I don't know. Um, the Legend of Robin Hood. Okay. okay. Well, what's what's with the, this? Just looks like a game that would exist. So what's so there was Robin Hood: Prince of Thieves on NES. Oh, okay. There was also a Super Robin Hood, which was one of those um, like you know those gold NES cartridges. Mm-hmm. That have like multiple games on them, or those like weird oh, Quattro yeah, yeah, and all uh-huh. that. On there, there's a Super Robin Hood game that's like it's kind of like an NES, um, an mm-hmm. obscure gem. It's like a good game that most nobody's talking about, but that's it's like a good game. But this one, this Legend of Robin Hood, I don't know if that's what this is or what this is, but I'm actually really interested to to, to try this. I might try okay. this sometime. I didn't even uh, know I owned yeah, this, okay. and the cover looks like something right out of like a. Um, Prince Valiant or something. I don't know, but it looks cool. Hmm. Zelda Outlands. No, that's that Zelda Outlands was the first one of these that I ever got, and it's one of my favorite hacks it's ever. It's like the third quest of Zelda. It's like the third quest of Zelda, but now um, they've come out with Zelda Randomizer, which is essentially this game times a billion because um, it's like what this game is, but you can randomize the game and have unlimited amounts of different styles and quests and things. It's like the greatest thing ever, Zelda, Zelda Randomizer. Super Contra 7, which we did a video of before. Right? Yeah, so, we did. And I never figured, did we ever figure out what did they mean by Super Contra 7? Like, where were they getting 7 from? Uh, go back and watch the video that Maybe. we did. Super Mario Adventure. There's, how many of these adventures? There's Adventure, and then there's Adventures. And then there, and then there's the, the um... <laughs> Yeah, you got Super Mario Adventure, Super Mario Fantasy Adventure, and Super Mario Adventures. Is that not, are you confused yet? Yeah, I'm, I'm, 
I'm confused. All right, so here you go. You have something to say about that one? Oh, Mother Earth. I'm assuming what this is. Well, it came out on Famicom, correct? Originally, yeah, the game Mother was on Famicom. It was one of those games that didn't come out in North America, probably because it was too hard or it was too good or something. And uh, the second one came out in uh, on Super Nintendo, but it was called, instead of it calling it Mother 2, here we, it was called Earthbound. Because I, 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 think, I think it was originally... So this may just be the Famicom game put to an NES cart? Exactly. Or it could Earthbound be Zero. a hack of yeah. that. Or it could be a hack of, they later put it out on, uh, I'm going to say, Game Boy Advance or something. And they called it Earthbound Zero. Yeah. Because it's like before Earthbound. But they, basically like it was released later on, but it's one of those things where it was never released when it was new. Yeah. Um, Rockman Claw. So this is like another Mega Man one. But look at look at it this is. cover. That's a it's kind of a, I don't know, I kind of like it. It's a little ridiculous, yeah. but it's, it's kind of cool. It looks like something that would exist. I mean, they put, like, a, a kid in a costume, and they just, like... <laughs> yeah, it looks like somebody... Well, it's like a painting, it. right? Well, they painted on top of it, I think. But yeah. It looks like they got a real, like, kid May- in a costume. Yeah, maybe. Color, this color of the cartridge... What I, color is that color? I don't know. Is what that, that's what not... color is this color? Um, You know how we, we used to talk about, like, try to invent a color that doesn't exist? They did it. There, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I've seen everything. I've seen um, there's, there's the baby blue cartridges, the black cartridges, the gray cartridges. You know, um, gold. Did I say gold? Um, uh, you know, red. Um, but look, like Spider Man. Yeah. Th- then you got this. What color is that? It it's like, even like- it's not orange. It's not brown. It's not. Like name this color. I, at first, name I'm, that color. At first, I was gonna say like mustard. It's a little dark. It's not mustard because right that'd be like yellowish. At first, I was gonna say mustard. Like well, a, I'll like get a, close up and get like a brown, like a yeah, like a brown mustard or something. I'm gonna say this probably looks different in different lights, but looking at it right now, I have no. <laughs> I've never idea. seen that color. Have it's you? It's kind of like if you mixed red with like a little bit of white. Uh, a little bit of cadmium yellow, a little bit of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Only Bob Ross would be able to name the color that is. Yeah. Maybe. This is, I mean, by the way, the name, Ab- Aberen Butengu, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> That's, I don't, the That's the color. That's the color. Wow. The name of the game is the color. Wow. They, they named it. This is interesting. Uh, Ultimate Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, what, what I like what they've done here is that they took the... The artwork and they fixed it they actually gave well i mean it it was originally like the comics like they all have the red right. red bands but now they not only fixed they, it to make it like the cartoon like the cartoon um but they they put all the colored headbands on not only that but they made them all the colors that they are in the action figures like donatello's kind of darker green <laughs> than um you know like mm-hmm. michelangelo's kind of like a a really green different green. shades like just, of green yeah i don't know what call them but yeah this here is wario blast i tried this one time it's basically like the first bomberman on nes but with War- wario in it it's really like nothing special sun man i think this was uh this is a game made by sunsoft <laughs> and Su- sun man by sunsoft mm-hmm. but it's uh it never i think it never came out they didn't finish it or something and then last but not least, we have Sweet Home, which this is a game that came out on Famicom. Mm-hmm. Um, there there was a movie, a horror movie, that was a Japanese horror movie that um, it's based off of. And this is an excellent um, game, um, which I need to get. I actually, I actually, if I looked over there, I actually might own the Famicom yeah. uh, cartridge. But um, this is this would be a good um, maybe okay. game to play for us for October. Yeah, you're talking about last October. Then I found out about Polybius. So uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so out of all these, what yeah. did you want to try out? Okay, well, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna pick just one for now. Uh, these are some of the, the top contenders here. Uh, gee. Yeah, look, here's our top contenders. It's okay. still like a stack. So anyway, some usual day. No. no. <laughs> Link. I do want to play that. I know. TV Mario. I don't know. This one, it's like the, the color's funny. Mario Adventure. Fantasy. 
I mean, yeah, you said I should play this one, so I should summon him, but then there's Lomar, Hero Quest. <laughs> How about we do Mega Man the Mushroom Kingdom? Yeah, I would like to see that. It's interesting that this is a Mega Man 1 hack, because yeah. most of them are Mega Man 2. Exactly, yeah. Um, I didn't realize that, so let's do... Usually when I'm playing Mega Man, I usually start with Bomb Man. Okay. So let's just do that. Let's see how this goes. How is this going to be? So far, it's just Mega Man. Like, where's the this Mario the part? game so far. Oh, well, here, here we go. go. <laughs> and it's red, too. Yep. Oh, it's Mario 3 as well, not even... Yeah, that's cool. I wonder if um, the other things are going to be like Super Mario Brothers, or if it's all going to be like Mario 3. Mega really, Man 1 plus Mario 3. Yeah. Really makes you wish you could break the blocks. Yeah. And bounce on those, the, you know, the musical notes. I wonder if the bosses are going to be just the Robot Masters, or... Uh, probably will be, I guess. Or if, like, the bosses are, like, the Koopa Kids or something. <laughs> I like that he's red. I guess they were going for that he's supposed to be like Mario. I guess. Matches the vine. I mean, why is the vine red? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. <laughs> and, like, the, the ground is, like... You know, I guess people today, like, people are used to this kind of stuff. There's been so many of these type of games, like, with, like, thing. Mario Maker. But well, in 2006, that... this was special. Yeah, this is crazy. Um, <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. It, the, the Mario crossover game, that was when, it, it, like, this kind of thing started getting really big, I think. Like, when I started hearing more about it. Because um, I kind of felt like when I saw it the first time, I was like, oh, that's cool. That's a cool idea that somebody did that. Right. And and then when I heard it again, I was like, oh, but, it, but it's been done. I already seen it. But then I saw that it was done, like, like people kept upping the ante. Yeah. Like, oh, well, let's see Simon Belmont inside of, um, you know, uh, Ninja Gaiden or something. And it just keeps on getting what, crazier and when crazier. When there's a good thing, people like to have it happen again and again and mm -hmm. again. It's kind of like um, the angry video game nerd. Okay. All right. <laughs> when people like something, they don't mind when there's more of it. As long as as long as long it's a little different, oh. <laughs> you know? It's kind of like Zelda, you know? There could be a million Zelda yeah. games. As long as it's a little different, I'm, yeah. go I'm good with it, All you know? Right. The last episode, at this point in time, the last episode that came out was that uh, Lightspan one, Lightspan. which I, I love that episode. Oh, cool. That was great. Polybius was my favorite uh, that year. It was it was different. It was a lot different, but I was I think that was my favorite one because it was it was like making a horror movie. My favorite nerd episode of 2017 was Game Boy accessories. Oh okay, that was my <clears> favorite. <throat> uh, I guess I jumped down here. Yeah, that was a hard one to do because it was like collecting a lot of those uh, you know accessories. Yeah. Oh, this is funny. It's like the beginning of the game. You know that uh, that Game Boy um, sonar thing? <laughs> yeah, the boat it's thing? Been, it's been popping up on eBay like a lot lately. We looked for that before yeah. that video over and over. And then he, then after he did the video, it's like every like two weeks it's like on eBay. <laughs> it, they, yeah. I, it's because of the video, I think. I, I guess. Maybe. People are like, oh, now we can sell those Game Boy accessories. <laughs> now that there's yeah. a hot market for it. <laughs> you know, we're waiting two years for that fucking yeah. thing to pop up. Oh. Uh, yeah, um, maybe. All right, so I I'd did... love to see the shoes pop up, though. That's what I like to see. Oh, my God. The Game Boy. You can wear them around town. Yeah, yeah. Um, so when I'm playing Mega Man, I go Bomb Man, and Bomb Man, I think, kills Guts Man. So that would be my recommendation. But this is like Mario Bros. But I think the I think the weapons would work the same. Like, I think Bomb would still kill probably. Guts. So you yeah. probably still want to do the same order, I would think. So you're up. Oh, okay. Guts. I would say Guts Man was a weird name for a character. He's also very different than, oh, it is different. It's, this is Mario yeah, 2. That's, cool. uh, that's what I was curious about. I bet there is a regular Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, story. Mario 2 America. Yeah. Well, that's great that they put Mario 2 in here because yeah. I love Mario 2. I'm very nostalgic oh, me, for me it. Me too. Like that was the, because when the first, when Super Mario Brothers came out, I was like, I didn't know about it till I was like, because that game kind of had a little bit of a slow release. Like it came out on Famicom first and then it eventually it made its way here. Mm -hmm. I didn't play it till I was eight, and but then when Mario Two came out, I was like fully aware. Like now I was on board and mm -hmm. I was like ready for it. And I remember seeing commercials about it. And um, yeah, as Mario Two, I'm extremely nostalgic for. Like it might be like one of if I was gonna it's like the rate all the Nintendo games like by nostalgia factor, like this would be like one of the top. 
um, Mario Two. Mario Two. Uh, Mario Two America. Yeah. Not Mega Man and the Mushroom Kingdom. No. <laughs> no. No, you can't go down it. Are you trying no, to go I down? Try, I, was <laughs> so, um, right. I didn't know if I was gonna die. Oh, can you okay. dig? Oh. Uh, oh no, you uh, like uh, yeah. Okay. okay. I love the digging in the game too. You need the mole mitts. You remember um, Minish Cap and then the mole mitts. Uh. You play, You played Minish Cap, didn't you? Minish Cap and the Zelda. Mole. Zelda Minish Cap. Um. Minish Cap's the yeah, one where you get yeah, small. Yeah, yeah, of course. You got the little the hat that yeah. that's. Like, that was a great one, yeah, with Vaddy. Yeah, 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 that one. Yeah, but there was uh, mole mitts in that game where you could, like, dig. Hmm. It's so weird to see, like, these sprites together. I keep thinking I can pick shit up. <laughs> yeah, because you think yeah. you're Mario, yeah. But I keep waiting for there to be a time where I can't go further because I can't do what you need to do. But it, it doesn't seem to happen. It seems like it's... This game, it doesn't matter. You don't have to pick stuff up. Right? Is it Mauser? <laughs> yeah. There he is. That's funny how they did this. Oh, can you switch? Oh, you know what? I'm trying. All right, select pauses. Start. Oh, start does it. Oh, it's got the little icon instead of the. I like that actually. That's cool. Uh, okay. The icon. One more. One more. Oh no! Too far away. Yeah. Hey, Mauser with the bombs. Yeah, I love that. I love the Mazer. So, you know, you know what's interesting is, you know, you and I did Doki Doki Panic, but we didn't do Mario 2. And I think we did that because it was... Oh, is that what we did? Okay. We yeah, did Doki yeah. Panic, but uh, we actually never did Mario 2, so someday we should. Really? Okay. Boom. All right. You know what we've never done, and I'd like to do it? Super Mario Brothers. It's weird to think we... You know, I haven't even played that in a while. Like, it's been a long time since I played... Can't, can't we do Super Mario Brothers? It just, doesn't it seem like too... Much like too obvious, but like can't but should, shouldn't not. it be a video at some point? Yeah, like it's so, like right? the most famous video game ever. <laughs> like we haven't done it. I know. Come on, I think we should do regular Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, uh, yeah, I agree. We should. Yeah, so we're we're not planning to go through the whole game, uh, but I do want to at least. I come. I kind of am curious to see what the other levels are, so I do want to see. So what would be the next after Guts? Uh, Guts. Do you remember what Guts killed? I don't know. I'm trying to think, Guts. You picked up the shit and you threw it at. Well, let's, let's go through the order. So the ice would kill the fire, right? The fire would be last. Spark, I think, would kill ice. So I think Guts must kill Cut, and Cut kills Alec. So <laughs> I'm, I'll just be over here. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, th I, think, I think Cut would be next. But let's see what the background's gonna be. Is it gonna be, let's see, Super Mario Brothers. Super, it's gotta be Super Mario Brothers. Nope, Mario too. Hmm. That's the one with the ostriches. I guess we should at least see all the backgrounds of this. Yeah. I was um, thinking about like where to end like it. Like, is there a quick way to do that? Yeah, um, I, I, I guess if I just. That's it. I mean, yeah. yeah no, if I just reset. Oh. Let's just see. I just want to. We're just going to look at what, oh, okay. the, what the backgrounds are. So, so anyway, we we could totally beat this, but we just wanted to um give you a quick look through of like all the levels. Just yeah. see what they look like. It's just Mega Man. Actually, I, I really would be curious if we did go through. Maybe I'll live stream what, what it someday. Would, uh, Wiley what like, would Wiley yeah. be like? But let's just check these out. Mm -hmm. So Alec Man, who's my favorite um, Mega Man robot master. L love uh, Alec Man. But let's see what he is. Oh, that's cool. Okay, all so right. it's like a... Underwater? Yeah. And it's like slow motion controls. Like that's really interesting. I like the yeah. color scheme of this too. It's cool. Okay. That's cool. I want to play more of this later. Um, yeah. This is a good hack. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are not that good. I love that it says hack on it so there's no <laughs> debate. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right. So Iceman stage is... There you go. Super Mario Brothers. Oh. Combined with Mario 2? Now it's just all over the place. It's looking a little bit. There you go. So this is Mega Man and the Mushroom Kingdom. That this is what I thought of when I first thought of this game. It would look like this. Uh, all right, and we got one more to look at. A fireman. Dino Land. Dino Land. <laughs> Dino Land. Yeah. He looks like Spider Man in that outfit. Oh yeah. He's got a different outfit every everyone. And that was like a Goomba bouncing around. This is cool. This is a well made hack. It idea. Is, yeah. Yeah. Let me just like look yeah, a, a little, little, bit, little yeah. bit more of this stage. Because this, this stage looks cool. Yeah, I'm definitely digging this. This is um 
This yeah. is something I could totally come back to. Some of the hacks, you pop them in and you're like, eh, not that great. Yeah, but I like, th this one's good. Yeah. Mega Man Ultra was a really great um, uh, homebrew game or whatever. Yeah, um, it was hard it was though. Like, it was, uh, yeah, it's like a really great, uh, a really challenging version of Mega Man. But, yeah. But the only thing I always felt about it was that that um, that one oddball stage, the Woodman stage, like that was the only stage that looked like Mario Brothers when the rest of it was just like a new Mega Man type of thing. Right. And I always felt it was like a little bit of a tease. I was like, oh, like why isn't there more of that kind of and shit? And here you go. Here you have an entire Mega Man game that's in the Mushroom Kingdom, as it's called. So you're getting your getting your dream dream come true. Yeah. Anyway, though, um, so we, we checked checked out this stuff. We're not going to beat it. Um, but uh, if there are any more of those hacks that you would like to eventually see, let us know in the comments. And hopefully we'll eventually get to... A lot of them, because you know what yeah. they say, many more Mondays. <laughs> many more games. All right.